This is why I kept saying um, the Sixers thinking, or sorry, the, the Rockets thinking we're not getting good offers for Harden, not equal value. Let's wait until we get better offers. The longer they wait, the worse it's going to be, not the better. You know, I talked about this because they know he's a distressed asset. And, and by the way, an unhappy superstar, well, you have him under contract for two years. What is he going to do? You don't want it. The NBA, the fact of the matter is the players have very little leverage against the owners in negotiations. You know, they're negotiating against billionaires with a de facto monopoly in their sport. But the owners have very little leverage with players. If, the play, if a superstar player wants out, there's not a lot the owner can do. There's not a lot the team can do. Because, oh, well, he's got to earn his money. There are ways he can earn his money and still not really give you his all and become a disruptive force and make it untenable to keep him. So they got to move him. They will move him. Mark my words, they will move him. And the longer they wait, the worse it'll get. And Stephen A., part of his strategy when you misbehave to try to force yourself out is his trade value goes down. And it's not that the Rockets are going to think, well, now we can't get a good enough deal for him, so we're not going to deal him. Wrong. What's going to happen is they're just going to eventually take the best deal, which is going to be much worse than it would have been had they dealt him sooner. In, in other words, he knows the, the more well, his trade value goes down, the easier it is for other teams to get him because they don't have to give up as much. Well, let me say this to you, Max. Max, that, how first soon of all, do you we, see we this respectfully trade happening? Disagree. Hold on, hold on, Charlie. Hold, hold on, Charlie. We respectfully disagree in this sense. When you talk about him in terms of his behavior, what have you, understand something. It's not about his trade value going down. His trade value is not going to go down. They already are not getting those quality offers that they wanted for him because they're asking for the farm because he is James Harden and he's so prolific. I'm going to give you a strategy that I would think would be in the best interest of James Harden. You know what? Just sit out. Sit out and sacrifice some pay if you have to to get the hell out because then – that it's not frowned upon as much as if you were being a distraction. He might have to reach a point where, and, and, and in a sense, he's almost doing this because, again, he was in that bubble. He knows the protocols. He knows the rules. Max, he knows that ultimately a video is going to come out that's going to hinder his ability to show up and play because they're going to say, you don't need to be around other teams. You could have been exposed, et cetera, et cetera. The bottom line is he didn't care enough. So in the end, he might be better off just saying, I want out. There's no reason for me to be back here. See what trades you can work out rather than being around the team and causing a disruption. And if he's not willing to do that, Tillman Fertitta and Raphael Stone, the new GM, may need to say, yo, man, go home. They might need to do that because he clearly does not want to be there. So how soon is this trade going to happen? Stephen A., you can answer that one since you just spoke. Well, we don't know. That's the whole point. Mac Max is talking about how, you know, listen, we all know that they're going to move him because he doesn't want to be there. It's just a matter of when. And when is determined by the quality of offer they get or their willingness to settle for considerably less. Usually, come around the trading deadline or what have you, that's when stuff like that transpires. James Harden is clearly not in the mood to wait. Everything he is doing is because he wants the world to know I'm being forced to stay here. I don't want to be gone. He almost might have been better off, like Kendrick Perkins said to me last week, taking the extra two-year extension for the 50 million per, 103 million to be exact, because you would have been locked up for four years instead of two, and that way anyone who gets you knows that they're keeping you for the long haul, and they might have been more receptive to that. But his situation is what it is. Yeah, it's, it's a very tough situation, and there is some more information coming from Tim McMahon this morning as well. Sources telling him that James Harden actually was diagnosed with COVID-19 this past summer before the NBA's restart, which was the reason why okay. he was late to the bubble in Orlando. But as we all know, there have been instances where you can get COVID twice. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.